got a feeling this is going to be tough. We haven't managed to get any sleep yet and the time is two minutes past four in the morning. Great. Oh, I've managed to get three hours sleep in the end, 18 minutes past seven. I tell you what though, the mosquitoes here are horrendous. Right, let's make a move out of here. I thought I'd leave the hotel. It looked like a pay-as-you-go breakfast, so I thought I'd go elsewhere. Look at the harbour at this time in the morning. So my first plan this morning is to get some food, maybe a coffee. There's a few hotels which are like 10 minutes walk from here, so I'm gonna head there now and see how we get on. Right, here we go, this is the first one coming up now. Ah, thank you very much. Well I think breakfast is through here. Am I okay to sit here? Is that okay? Thank you. That was easy enough. Let's even get some coffee and some toast now. Just done, thank God for that. That set me up for the day. So at least I don't have to worry about food now. I was sitting there eating breakfast. I was thinking, I wish I could like sneak loads of people in to have breakfast. But the thing is, you just wouldn't get them in. Seeing the differences in like the rich people here and the poor people here, I want to do something for the poor people here. But there's not a lot you can do when you haven't got any money on you. To be honest, one of the goals I've actually got this year is to set up some sort of charity or do something like impactful. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll definitely be doing something, I just gotta give it more thought. Right, plan for now, I wanna do something adventurous, shall we say. I don't just wanna walk around the city, I wanna do something fun, something that excites me. I've got two ideas, the first idea is, yesterday when I was with Adnan and we went to the Gate of India, which is there, there was loads of boats leaving the port with like local Indian people on it. So if I could try and sneak on a boat, I don't even know where these boats are going, but if I could sneak on one and just go with the flow. So that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and suss the situation out. Right, so I'm under the gate of India now, which is there, and the port is literally just down the side, around the back of it. You've got one boat here, and then you've got one boat over there, and like everybody's walking up here and coming out by there. Let's go and see where they're coming out, see how strict it is. Right, so there's people just got off the boat and come out of that gate there, but it's a bit too quiet to just walk through it at the minute. Right, let's see if we can slip through here. Yes? On the So far, so good. We're through. Happy days. Okay, so we've made it through the gate at the back. I'm guessing we're going to jump on this boat. Where the hell is this going? As you can see, there's not one tourist getting on this bus. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. No, that doesn't be Oh, Hello. cheers, mate. Thank you. What the hell is going on here? Hey, hey, Climbing on the boat. Are you joking? I've got to climb up this ladder. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm stuck. I've put weight on. I can't fit through that hole. So we've successfully made it on the boat. I just need to find out where it's going now. Well this is nice. There you've got the gate of India. There you've got the five star hotel that I stayed in last night and that's like the extra bit added on. Right let's see where we end up. Back down here. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, that was a bit of an anti-climax. Thought I was gonna go to somewhere exotic, but turns out the boat just did like a loop of the bay. So we're back to square one. One thing a lot of people have messaged me about since I put on Instagram and Twitter that I'm in Mumbai is to sneak into a Bollywood movie. I've never seen a Bollywood movie in my life. I probably won't understand the word of it, but I'm up for the experience. Plus, where else in the world can you see a Bollywood movie? So I reckon we're gonna give this a go. Only problem is I wouldn't know where to start. I'm guessing it's just like in an Indian cinema or something. It'd probably help if I asked a few people. And I'm just thinking, where can you see a Bollywood movie around here? Bollywood in the Juhu Beach area, not in, not in the hotel. No, no, I know it's not in the hotel, but is there like, a, like where would you go and watch one? In a cinema or? You can check main lobby, main first lobby. counter. First ah, okay, I'll go and see it. Where can I go and see a Bollywood movie around here? Is there like a cinema though or something? Yes, sir. It, we have theatres, multiplex theatres. But those will be in the local language, I'm afraid. Uh, would you be understanding it? Okay? Yeah, it'll be an experience, won't it? So it's a multiplex, yeah, is it? So I would recommend you watch Simba. Where's the closest multiplex to here? Regal Cinema, sir. Two minutes away from here. Regal Cinema. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you. Thanks very much for that. Thanks. So the Regal Cinema is literally, like he said, two minutes up the road. I just googled it in the hotel, so I'm just going there now. How mad is this? You come to the end of the pavement here and look at all this road work. You're literally just jumping over it. They've dug the whole road up. It says it should be on this corner now. Oh, I think this is it actually. Yeah, it is the cinema. Okay, so this is the ticket booth. There are the times. I'm just gonna try and go in. You've got the ticket booth there, and then security's over there. Just looking at the posters. That's on 9.45, Simba's on 3.15 and 6.30. And the time now is quarter past six, good timing. Are you watching Simba? Yeah. Ah, okay, which way do you go in? Uh, you buy a ticket? Yes, yes, I got a ticket, yes. Okay, 6.30 a.m. Yes, 6.30 p.m., yeah. yeah. So do they, do they check tickets going in, or do they check in the in cinema? Your, uh, the outside for, for the five minutes. Yeah. You can go from out, uh, from uh, their side. So five minutes before it starts, yeah, they yeah, pull everybody in, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, that's great. And th is that when you show the tickets, is it? Or? Yeah. Ah, okay. You could buy now? Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> in my bag. Thank you for your help, thank you very much. I've got a feeling this is gonna be tough. The first Bollywood film, never seen one before, ever. What language is it in? Uh, Hindi. In Hindi? Yeah. Oh, dead in subtitles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is there subtitles? Yeah. Subtitles. There is subtitles as yes, well. Yes, oh, that's good. I don't know, but actually. Well, I hope so. But yeah, hope so. <laughs> I, my, my Hindi's not too good, if I'm honest. Check so. your bag. Oh, do I check my bag? Back check. Back check. Ah, okay. Are we all good? Do you need to check me now? Or? Ticket, ticket. Oh, ticket, right. I can't find it online. Online? No, buy the piece. Ah, okay. Take by the piece. Like, no, I no, 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 no. You can buy the another ticket. There's nothing you can no, help no, me with. Nothing, nothing. Without ticket, I can allow you. I tried, but that was strict. Proper airport security to get into a cinema. That was crazy. Right, I need to look for another cinema. If there's one close by and there's a film on, I'll go and try that one. Right, I've just Googled it and there's another one 15 minutes walk away, so let's hope there's something on there. Okay, so I've done the walk and it's saying that this is the cinema. But the doors are closed and there's no sign at all. I'm just gonna try the door. No? Where's the cinema? The Eros Cinema? How do you get in there? It's closed now. Oh, it's closed. Okay, thank you. That's a shame that a Bollywood film would have been quality on this trip. I've just sat down on the wall by the port. I'm gutted I didn't go and see that film. Walking back though from that cinema, I just took little detours and I didn't film it. I just turned the camera off for a minute and I was just like walking around Mumbai. And honestly, it's such an eye opener to see like you get a five star hotel there and then, you know, you go a few roads down and it's like proper slum areas and it's mad where it goes from like one extreme to another. I'm just speaking to these passing and they're T-Series fans. Subscribe to PewDiePie. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Unsubscribe <laughs> T-Series. PewDiePie. <laughs> PewDiePie. <laughs> it's nice to meet you anyway. You. Have a good one. Nice to meet you. See you later. Hey, subscribe to PewDiePie. No, no, no. Unsubscribe from T-Series. No, 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 no. PewDiePie's got this. <laughs> I'm guessing 99% of people know 
know about PewDiePie and T-Series. For the 1% that don't, they're the biggest channels on YouTube and T-Series is a big Indian channel and they're like battling for the top. So where was I? One extreme to another, that's it. So yeah, it's mad. Like even when I look on booking.com for like spas and five star hotels, it's like there's dead cheap ones and then there's dead expensive ones. There's no in between. Like in the UK, you'll have cheap hotels and you'll have expensive hotels, but then in the middle, you'll have your holiday in and your premier in and stuff like that. But here there's there's no in between. It's all or nothing and it's, it's mad to see. And to be honest, it's just a shame, especially when you're walking around and you're seeing people struggling. I wish I could do something to help. Right, so the predicament I'm in now is obviously I've got nowhere to sleep, it's getting late. I've got two options. Number one is I either go back into this five star hotel where I stayed by the pool last night, or number two, obviously I go elsewhere. The only thing that worries me about going back into this hotel is that the same people are working tonight, they see me, they saw me last night sitting there, they were okay about it, but then they're gonna be like, wait a minute, this guy's like there two nights on the trot. So I don't really wanna draw attention. But at the same time, I really can't be asked going hotel hunting now for another one. So odds are on, I'm gonna stay here. I want to add to the sleeping situation too that I went on couch surfing earlier today. I emailed 10 people on there, which is my maximum free allowance. All 10 did decline, but it was more because they were out of town and they messaged as well and said they apologize. So to be honest, couch surfing is an option in India, but it's just not worked for me. So we're gonna go by this pool. Well, we're gonna try anyway. Wish me luck. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. You okay? Right, down this long corridor to the pool. Is there anyone gonna be here? Hi, how are you, okay? How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Looking forward to getting to bed. Night. Coast is clear, perfect. Only if I was getting to bed, I wish. Right, is anybody sitting down here in me spot? Right, I'm back in my spot from yesterday. This is definitely me for the night. Well, I've got a few emails to do and a few work stuff, but that's the thing with these challenges. Not only am I doing the challenges, but like I'm working along the way as well. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Thank you to everybody who likes the videos, comments on the videos, share the videos. It really helps me and it means more than you know. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And I will see you in day three of Mumbai with no money. I wanna do something good tomorrow. I wanna like go out with a bang. We'll see how we get on. Have a a good one and I'll see you tomorrow.